And as always, we're going to be looking for accurate context, good risk management, and always exercising good patience. Everybody who's traded has gone through periods of time where their strategy hasn't worked. Where if not a hard stop, you should reevaluate the trades you're in uh, based on time. That's what we're here for, is to put ourselves in the best success. A trading routine does that, builds that habit, lets you know what to work on, what to reflect on, and what to improve on the next day. Welcome to Make Hogue Money on this Monday, March the 13th. Markets have settled down a little bit. That's a good thing. We haven't had any other runs on banks today. That's a good thing. So things seem to be calming down. This is me. I've been around the block a few times. You guys are going to come up with the trade ideas, so I don't have to worry about it. This is the CFTC disclaimer. It states that there's a lot of risk in futures and we should only be using risk capital that we can't afford to lose. We are not suggesting that anybody purchase or sell the the trades we're doing here. This is for educational purposes only. This is a live account. You guys are coming up with the trade ideas. So, of course, with any trader or program, there is no past performance that will be indicative of future results. The rules for Make Hogue Money, we expect kindness and respect above everything. There's always differences of opinions and a million ways to look at markets. It's what makes them so good. You're going to have a couple of people unable to talk. We're all going to be involved in the decisions. And of course, the context of your trade is going to be very helpful for those decisions. We're going to use the chat rooms on YouTube and in the Zoom meeting to discuss trades. Only those in the Zoom meeting will, however, be able to vote. We keep an eye on both chat rooms, though. We'll see what uh, the folks on YouTube have to say about some of these trades as well. We're going to focus on the MES for opportunities. We're not going to trade just to trade. We're not going to be taking losing trades, which, as we all know, is a joke. We know there are going to be losing trades. It's part of trading. Uh, Feedback for Make Hook Money is also vital. If you have feedback, send it to me, jhoagland at topstep.com. Let's bring up the platform and see what we've got going on here. It's good to see everyone. Welcome back for another week of chills, thrills, and excitement in futures trading. Good afternoon, Ben, Joe. Good to see you guys. You guys want to be our victims today? You guys want to talk? We would appreciate it. Good afternoon, Persia Tam. Chart language. Good good afternoon, Ashok. Uh, Vlad. Chart language. This is live. There is a slight delay because you're watching it on YouTube. About 10 seconds, I think. But yeah, we are live. Hello, Alejandro and Mia Me, or is that Miami? I have a sneaking suspicion. Anybody that would like to talk, just let me know and we can uh, uh, we can get you in here. Raise your hand or just to tell me in the chat. And so, well, what's the sitch? Well, the situation is we've had a couple of runs on banks. I'm sure we're all well aware of that now because we're all very studious in keeping track of the information that is available to us as we are trading. This being the daily chart, we took a look below the... Low for 2023 today in the S&Ps. That's the previous low. We looked at it. We looked down to weekly kickoff low. Nice opportunity off that weekly kickoff low this morning, if I do say so myself. And we've recovered a little bit off of that. We've got some pretty good excess off the lows here. Uh, 
No idea what the expectations are going to be for tomorrow or the rest of the week because we do have CPI tomorrow, PPI Wednesday, retail sales Wednesday, housing starts, permits, jobless claims, Philly Fed on Thursday. So a lot more known financial or economic information due out for the week. Huh. What are we doing? So, yeah, this is the daily, weekly kickoff, check, last week's low, check. What are we looking at here on the 30-minute chart? Holding the upper half of the, pl- of, the, of the profile, negative delta, on a move to the upside. Don't forget this is the March contract. If we were to look at the June contract, Delta is positive. Makes sense, right? Maybe there's sellers of March and buyers of June. Tomorrow we'll be trading the June contract for sure. There is more volume at the end of the day in the June contract. So we'll be kissing the March contract goodbye after the close today. It's okay if you've already moved to the March contract. The the volume is there, higher there already. So you're in good shape. Yes. Um, So here is the 30-minute chart. What about the profiles? Here's that low. I don't think I can get the this this pro this platform has been acting a little bit crazy. And no, I don't think we're gonna get the overnight on the platform here. No, we are not. I'll have to fix this later. Not in the MES either. So overnight low thirty. 3,808.75, three ticks from weekly kickoff low. Our regular trading hour low, just short of that, excess. We've got a P-shaped profile indicating potential short covering on the day. We did open outside of range and outside of value. Um, we are currently... In the value area special situation play, which states opening outside of range and value, reaccepting inside of value, brings price to the other extreme of value at some point during the regular trading hour session. Now, I like to look at the S and P's on this because there is a uh, there is a, a a slight difference between the value areas and the S and P and the and then and the minis, the micros, I should say, took us a little longer to get into an accept value from Friday today. Almost got to it. Well, we did get to it in volume, not the, the TPO value high. So there's a little bit of risk of that happening here by the end of the day. I know we've got some consolidation here. We've got our value high here. Volume value high at the same spot. We're in the middle of the range. Probably some play with uh, VWAP that we're talking about doing here. Uh, ben is saying to, to sell the sell the thirty minute bar open or VWAP. So I think you're talking about that thirty minute bar. And yeah, we're late for that, but we're coming up on VWAP. So what are you saying, Ben? You want to? Let the market come back, th- go through VWAP and sell it when it comes back toward it. What are you thinking?
Now we got VWAP down here at 3874. That's the uh, first standard deviation, and I think this is a 20-session exponential moving average, that blue line right there. What are you thinking? Right, too late now. Because, I mean, where I sit, we're sitting between point of control and point of control. Uh, this is not an area that I would most of the time be involved. Nicholas, sure. Chart, how much did you make in practice today? Here's the link to, for the Zoom meeting to register. Boy, we are just hanging around here. we just very indecisive in this area, just right around these points of control. No problem, Nicholas. No problemo. Would you try it again? Would you try it now? Ben? I mean, we're almost back up there. Sell it. All right, we're going to take his advice, and we're going we're gonna to sell it here. What's my risk? Nice, J-Man. J-Man completed step one today. Yeehaw. So we're short. Where's the risk? Lazy girl. High of this bar. Okay. So we are looking at 93 quarter. We'll go... 94. For our risk. Here's where we're short. And what are we looking for? Like VWAP for a profit target, Ben? Hello, Laszlo. Chad. Yeah, you got to get the book. We like trading low volume areas on either side of the high volume areas. There you go. <laughs> ben says we're looking for three points. After that, I'm on my own. I love that, Ben. All right, we'll, we'll go for the three points. Laszlo, this is market profile. We can talk a little bit about it here. Hang on a second. No, I don't believe depth of market is included if you get funded. You have to you still have to pay for uh depth of market. Yeah, the exchange just keeps us on finding ways to cost traders money.
<clears throat> well, we're hanging around here. Uh, I can talk a little bit about the, uh, yeah, it cost of business. Everybody pays for data, right? Uh, this is the market profile. No. So I don't mess this up. I'm going to show you on this, which is a SIM platform. So this is the market profile, just what we were looking at. Different color, though. So all this does is it organizes the information from the market a little bit differently, Laszlo. If I were to split this, this is the first half hour range, the second half hour range, third half hour range, fourth half hour range, and so on and so forth. So it in, 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 in essence, very much is similar to a 30-minute bar chart or a 30-minute candlestick chart. just doesn't show you the opens or the closes. But if when everything is pushed over to the left, we can see visually where the market is spending more time and less time. There's lots of other features to this and that include the, the, the point of control, value high, value low, buying tails, selling tails, weak highs, weak lows, anomalies. There's all kinds of information that this method of organizing the market's information can provide for you. Uh, looks like we got it. Did we get that already? Wow, nice. Well, we got your three points, Ben. Now I got to cancel the stop. Nice trade, Ben. Thank you. <clears throat> Laszlo, I'm going to uh, um, put a book title and um, author for you to think about taking a look at and uh, learning the market profile. There's also some information that uh, we've got here. Uh, here is the intro to the market profile. Here, this is me talking about the basics of the market profile. Hopefully, this might be something that will help you. Oh. And let's get this one as well. There's two parts to this. It'll give you some basic ideas about the market profile. Let me know what you think. All right, Laszlo, and that's for anybody. So here we are, still hanging by point of control. We got our profit. Hey, what's up, Rick? How you doing? Mm. Randolph. Ben says buy thirty eight eighty. Wow, I was prom promoted. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing all right. How are you guys? All right, what's happening? Nothing. Just uh, watching the uh, government fall apart. You know, banks. Yeah, watching everything uh, in a handbasket. All right, well, uh, Ben, we're long. Is is I know I just turned this on. I'm dealing with a, 
elderly dog here. Uh, uh, she's not doing so well. No, but, uh, really. I thought I saw a headline that there's more bank failures. Is that right? I did not see that, but I certainly want to be out of this if that is the case. Yeah. Um, I'm checking. So on the daily, do we make a head and shoulders? The daily, yeah. We broke out the, uh, we broke out, um, the, from the neckline. Yeah. I'm going to get out of this too, so I don't know what's going on with the, uh, headline here. Yeah. Yeah, you want to see it? Look at this. Yeah. So there's the shoulder, shoulder head. Here's the break. Here's the neckline. We broke out of it Thursday. Yeah. Snapped it like a twig. Yep. Yeah. You got any position on? You doing anything? No, right now we're flat. We had one little winner. We've had one little loss now. And uh, we like you kind of jumped out of that last position because you mentioned that there may be something else going on here. Were you trying to get long? Yeah, Ben was, uh, he gave us a good short. He was looking for a long, and I got out of it as soon as you started talking about bank things. Oh, come on, Scurvy. She well, doesn't eat anything all day. I'm no. Mm. Made her rice and trip to chicken and broth. She won't touch it. Just so you guys know, this dog, this little dog he's talking about is 19. 19 and a half. 19 and a half. Jeez. I lived with you for like 10 years. That was enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think the records for this breed is 21. Really? Jeez. Yeah, they looked it up, yeah. So. She's got a little gram of K in her, I'm thinking. Boy, I guess. VWAP area here for. For a short, you talking about Ben? Water. Buy one. Oh, we're through with VWAP. You want to wait till if it comes back above? It's CPI tomorrow, right? And a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, it would mainly CPI tomorrow, and then right. you know stuff on Wednesday, like Thursday, Thursday also. What's the prediction? Um, I don't know. I haven't really looked yet. Let me let me take a look tomorrow. CPI. I'm expecting. Well, the month over the month February, the six point four was last month. They're looking for six point zero this month. That's the year over year. Month over month was 0.5% last month. They're looking for 0.4 this month. Yeah. Well, this month being February. Did you short it VWAP? I did not. No. No, I was been, I've been busy reading this shit to you. <laughs> yeah, blame me. Still only a dollar. You start doing your own your own homework. Afternoon, George. George. Mert, thank you very much. We love you too. Will saying, yeah, there seems to be some bad new sentiment out there. Beware.
I mean, we, we're still by a, by and large inside value here. Are we going short, Rue? Where? I don't know where. I'm new at this. Somebody tell me what to do. What are you thinking, Randolph? Do you see a see a pullback back to VWAP? You know where I am. I'm, I'm like the the bear on the Oscars last night. That's true. Yeah, you are. Cocaine bear without the cocaine. <laughs> so what do we do? Just close our eyes and sell? Well, I think you got to be you know selective. I mean. I wouldn't like to sell a dip. I'd like to sell a rally. What's a rally? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Been a while. Well, no, go back a few days and look at that. Those green wicks, those green candles there, man. Wow. Is that an hourly chart? This is 30 minutes. Yeah, oh, 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Sure, a nice pop. Everybody jumped on it. Now, silver's up a dollar twenty. <clears throat> yeah, it was a big day there, right? Gold's up 44 bucks. You know, when it's cold like that, you never have enough. Mm -hmm. And when it's going against you, you got. You always to have too many. See, hey, we should have. Maybe we should have just closed our eyes and sold. There you go. You might, you know, you, you might get people that want to wait, hoping for a rally into the close and want to get out. Well, we're we're certainly at a level that I'm more interested in than right at the point of control. That's that's uh, the the gooey middle. I don't like the gooey middle. I like the the crunchy cookie on the on the ends. Mm. The yield curve is uninverting at a breakneck speed. Seeing this on not seeing anything about any banks. You seeing anything positive? <laughs> yeah, the yield curve on 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 inverting. Oh, well. But I'm not seeing anything about any banks. Uh -huh. They were talking about that one in New York. It was tied to the cryptos. Maybe. Is it the Manhattan Bank? I, I was talking to somebody about that earlier. I couldn't remember the name of it. I gotta follow what I'll do with that. Okay. New TPO now, Ben. Circle in the pantry here. Okay. Now she's gonna come back. I think I think it's um a little bit of dementia, to be honest with you. Hey girl. Come back. Well, she's definitely earned it. Yeah, she's best. Wow, that was a nice uh, sixty seventy-five. Hey, John, on the on the thirty-minute, what are those two uh, lines at the top of that red candle? Well, this one. It's 
SMA. Hang on. Uh, the, yeah, th this is a 200. Uh, there's a couple of moving averages on here. Um, 200 has been really important. That one, the blue one is the 50 simple. The yeah. green one, I think, is a 20. Oh, it's a 50 exponential. Riding that for the last two hours. See that? Even more. Right up to them and then boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, having trouble holding yeah. them. Value high just above that. First standard deviation of VWAP just above that. I mean, we're really, we're really kind of range bound here. It's can't been it's been hours since we've been outside of value. I can't even get up to VWAP. It tries and then Fail is common. Fail. <laughs> These two, this red one and this blue one, are whole moving averages. It's a nine yeah. and a thirteen, and you know they're definitely saying momentum is currently to the downside. Yeah. And the RSI at the bottom, where's that? Mm, Forty ninety two, nothing. Yeah. Definitely not oversold. No, or overbought. It's kind of hanging around the middle. I'm going to throw up the views on what the hell happened. <laughs> How do you really feel? You know, if you turn, I've got YouTube TV, and if you turn it, turn my channel off, turn back on, it picks up where it left off. So I was watching uh, Good Morning America before that. Uh -huh. You turn it off, and then it comes on. And it plays like the last ten minutes or five minutes of that, and it goes into the next show. You almost have to you have to get out of it, get back into it to get current. It's kind of weird. Support here at thirty-eight ninety-one resistance thirty-eight eighty-one. <clears throat> it's been hours since we've been out of value. Joe, five minute ES ATR. Oh, we're at ten seventy five. Now it oh now it got twenty five minutes left, huh? Yep. The imbalance has come out of what? Mm -hmm. Two fifty. Yeah, they'll start coming out here pretty soon. I should have listened to myself. We've been out we haven't been outside of value in hours. Well it's a good thing he didn't buy the sell it, John. Thirty eight fifty. Sixty. More to move. Negative delta, positive in June. Rollover. I hate rollover. Although, any rollover where I get an opportunity like this, I'm taking it. Gotta talk to her about that. Okay, because the bathroom is that going the smoky taupe? No. Okay. No, I don't know what that is, what that's gonna be. Okay, so it's uh, more of a cool kind of blue thing. I think she's got going on. Now. Okay, I whited that out. I'm gonna put the third coat on the ceiling for that bathroom. Before I go, I got one coat on the walls everywhere up there. Okay. So the smoky taupe 
I did the closets and that bedroom, the smoky toe. Okay. And then just I'll call her later tonight to get the colors and okay. then I can go get that stuff tomorrow morning on my way here. Okay, cool. It's all good? Yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> Sorry folks. Back to VWAP. What do we do? Rick? Randolph? Hey. What do we do? Take a vote. Take a vote. <laughs> Uh, do we take it? Do we take the trade? Which way? Untitled question. <laughs> uh, it won't let me vote. So. Yeah. Uh, we don't know. We don't know. We don't have a direction. We, did, we, we don't. Did, we don't have a trade here. At 70, 74, right, John? Uh, no, I'm asking you. I'm kidding you. I know. I know. I can't take the pressure. It's too much for me. All right, we got... Uh, <laughs> had a great day. Let's paint the house, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing, too. I have the opening range. North, north. We're trying to get short here, just shy of that uh, that VWAP for Randolph here. We do have 85% of people want to take a trade. There it is. Well, you, had a, you got a wick up there. You shouldn't let it go. Well, I tried to get short here at 72, but it, we didn't quite get there here just yet. No. Let me give you another opportunity. Vince has exit the June long at 39.12. Value no high. Rising. Value high. Where's our Rick? Yeah. Rick, where's our risk yeah, on this? You got lower highs and lower lows too. Mm -hmm. last Man, we, we got our hulls looking lower. If we do get filled, where's our risk on this? 3880. 4000. 4000. 4000. Okay. 3880. I mean, that takes out these two these two moving averages. Yeah. Takes us back to point I, of control. Yeah, give it some wiggle room. Just don't keep don't put it too tight. Well, that's 8 points. I wouldn't say that's too tight. The Dow's, the Dow's selling off on Fox. But Joe was just saying the ATR on the five minute is is ten points, so you can have ten points of risk on something and still not be wrong. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens. And we gonna do try to buy it in on the lows. Let me ask you: If I'm walking alone in the woods and Donna's nowhere around, am I still wrong? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you can be right and still be wrong. Yeah, right? Yep. Amanda agrees with that, of course. <laughs> uh, I think the most important words once you get married is that I love you, dear. It's your right, dear. Right. Right. Yeah, we're short, Ben. Yep. Uh, Sortingson, the poll is only if you join us for the Zoom meeting. Only I can't. I can't send the poll for the uh, for through YouTube. But you can vote in the chat. Yeah, we're short. I got Mortimer. I got Randolph here saying short VWAP, so we're short just shy, shy of VWAP. I know, Vince. I know we're low of value. We just had an opportunity down there and didn't uh, didn't get the uh, didn't get it done. Where's your stop? Uh, thirty-eight eighty. Okay. It's pretty close. Close. What are you looking for as for a profit target on this? Are you looking for us to go to thirty eight hundred? Uh, I think you know. I'd like to see new lows, but yeah, yeah. I think something would have to happen. 
Well, I'd like to see a nice steak in front of me, too, but that ain't going to happen. Cows creeping up just a little here. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got here for early MOC balances. Early MO, MOC imbalances, $158 million to the sell yeah, side. Jason, That's right. If the balance is, if you're not, should be stopping. Yeah, we do. Here. There's our stop. Yeah. I try not to let it look at it. Why would you put her in an even number? Algorithms like that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you, Vincent. You, you, you're always very generous, Vincent. I think we're going I don't think we're going anywhere but here we are point of control Mhm mm POC moved lower and prices are moving higher So tell me where I should have put the stop. There it is. Right there. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah, no, we got no, to, we got no. to. No, please. 39.12 achieved. You're looking in June, aren't you, Vince? That's right. Well, these will all be June tomorrow. We got to make Hogue money early session tomorrow. And uh, you guys better make me some money. Not that I'm putting the pressure on or anything. Nice job, real deal. Yeah, we hit the uh, January low this year, today. So, I'm going to send a, a uh, whoops, hang on a second here. I'm going to send a, uh, a uh, vote here. Rick, you're not going to be able to vote. Who wants to do the opposite of whatever Rick says the next time? Hey, Ben, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. I didn't know that. See that, Rick? You're all muffled. Only four people voted, though. Yeah, I'm more of a ten pointer stop guy. Oh, wait a minute. I had a relaunch. So, who wants to do, who wants to do the opposite of what Rick says? I'll click yes. <laughs> You're more stingy with your stops than I am, I guess. But. Well. I, you know, what am I looking at as far as profit's concerned? I'm already short in poor trade location. 
I mean, where's my real risk? My real risk is is ten points higher than I put the the, the stop. I know twenty points higher. Well, I mean, but you can just look at other things you got there too, you know. So eighty two percent want to do the opposite of what you say next. Yeah, try it. I shouldn't have told you that. I shouldn't have told you that because now you're going to tell me the opposite. It's not my money. (laughs) (laughs) So, you know, to be honest, there wasn't anything that I saw that I would have been very excited about today in any of these. Yeah. You know, the last dollar trade's tough. John, you know that. You know, because mm-hmm. people that made money are gone, and the people that haven't made money or lost money are still trying to. Yep. Yeah. Ben, it, yeah, Ben, we're, we're down 45 bucks. Doesn't, doesn't behave like it should. Like my kids. Standing, standing in the pits for all those years. And it's rollover. Rollover is just yeah. usually terrible. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ben, I'm. I, I wish I knew it was your birthday. I had a baked jet cake. Yeah, Jason's got a good point too. Yeah, we use the February high. And you'd still be in the trade. <laughs> uh, I love that. Well, it's okay. I had a stop in. So I told you I would have put mine at four thousand. Of course, you can participate next time. Real deal. Here, here is the link to register for tomorrow's Make Hogue Money, which is at eight twenty, right after the market prep. It's a different link. So here it is. And this is for, oh, this open for anybody. You want to come join and participate? Let me know. You got about a minute and a half till your balance is here. Hey, all right. The sister made your banana pudding in a meatloaf. <laughs> Mom. Ma. The meatloaf. We want it now. I love a good meatloaf. Probably because of rollover, you got a lot of uh, a lot of longer time frame traders who have been, <clears throat> I think, actually trying to get the rollover done early because. Of, We've already got more volume in the June contract than the March. Rollover's not supposed to be till tomorrow, switch day. It's done early. Hmm. Well. Well, why don't we call this a session and look forward to tomorrow's? I don't see like we're going to have a whole lot to do here. Uh, what the imbalances come out? They're out. Almost. Can you uh, see them? I get them. I get them a little bit late. Yeah, that, that other thing on YouTube they they post it on there, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, it's like there it is. One point six million to sell, and Apple, and you know. Well, look at that, John. Uh, ben wants to know where you would be a seller in gold. No, not. It just took out a 200 uh, average. Took out. It's taken out everything on the upside. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm staying put for through the CPI. I'm going to see what happens. There it is. Closed closed right on its highs, too. 
Nice job. Bob, 2.6 billion to sell, MOC. There it is. <clears throat> There you go. Well, let's reconvene tomorrow. Saga <clears throat> continues. Yep. Prep, 7.45, make hold money, 8.20. Uh, I'll be doing the reflection here in just a little bit, and maybe we'll see you there. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Rick, take care of your puppy. Yeah, we'll get your money back, John. Oh, I'm not worried about it. I know we'll get it back. Um, yeah, if I had your money, I'd burn mine. <laughs> ben, happy birthday again. Bless you. Happy birthday. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs>